That's actually a really good question. We hear that uh, those terms interchanged a lot, and, and that's probably the best way to describe it, is interchangeable. Uh, when I first fell into the industry, uh, it was known as rapid prototyping. Um, since then, uh, we've kind of morphed into a term called additive manufacturing. Uh, prototyping was kind of a limiting term uh, that made you think of the technologies were going to be good for uh, only prototypes, and that's proven to not be the case. And uh, years down the road, uh, the goal is to make more and more uh, end-use products using all of these different technologies. So we've kind of come from that rapid prototyping term to additive manufacturing, which is a little bit more of a sterile term, uh, industrial term. Um, and then now you've got the uh, the 3D printing buzzword that uh, I think the media has really latched onto that and, and uh, kind of taken that off of the last 18 months to two years. So uh, that's probably the one you're going to see the most use of these days is 3D printing. But I still see that as an umbrella that covers many, many technologies. Um, and I'll start throwing a lot of three-letter acronyms at you, but you got SLS, FDM, SLA, MJM, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, all these different technologies can be classified as rapid prototyping machines. They are also added to manufacturing machines, and they also come under the 3D printing uh, umbrella as well. The two easiest technologies for, for me to talk about are going to be stereolithography and multi-jet modeling. Uh, those are the tech two technologies that we have in-house. So. Um, We'll start with stereolithography. That's the one that we've had uh, in-house the longest, and it's more, I would say, of an industrial um, technology. Uh, it's a, there's a vat of liquid plastic, and using computers and lasers, uh, the laser will draw on the surface of the resin, selectively harden uh, the liquid to a solid, layer additive, and over time you build up a, a very strong model. So um, the materials have come a long way. They're very robust uh, in that regard but stereolithography does also suffer from a few uh, quirks of the process that can make um, very, very fine details, a little tricky to, uh, to resolve. Um, where 3D printing is actually a, if you take a traditional inkjet printer, very similar technology. Instead of jetting ink out of a, a print head, it's jetting plastic out of a, a print head, and then there's a flash of light, UV light, which cures that resin. And again, it is a layer additive, so that's where we come back to the additive manufacturing uh, term. And because the jets are so small, the, the, the DPI is so great compared to what you can actually draw with the laser, we can get much, much more crisp uh, detail parts out of 3D printing. So in the end, they both create models that can be used for a wide variety of purposes. Um, that's, that's about it.